All right, so this is, the, um, is my solution, my suggestion for the quiz. Um, and the quiz says on January 1, 2024, um, and we ignore the 18 million there, as I said in class, Monument Company issued 10-year, 10% bonds dated January 1, 2024, with a face amount of $20 million. For bonds of similar risk and maturity, the market yield is 14%. Interest is paid semi-annually on June 30 and, and December 31. Show your work for partial credit. And it asks three questions. One, calculate the present value at January 1, 2024 of the principal component of the bonds using the market interest rate. And then number two, we're going to calculate the present value of the interest payments along the way and using the market interest rate. And then number three, use your answers to number one and two to determine the issuance price of the bonds. So what we're going to do is we're going to put over here the dates. Uh, 1, 1, 24 is the date of issuance. And then the first interest payment is June, June 30. 2024, and then the next one is 12 31 24. And then we're going to take these two, we're going to roll them out and carry them forward out here to something like this. Yeah, it didn't work so good. Let's do it again. Take these two here. Copy, move it forward, and that that worked there. And we're going to end right at twelve thirty one thirty three, since we start uh, at the beginning of twelve of January one of twenty twenty four, and it's ten year bond. So we'll take these off, delete that, delete those columns, and we end up with this set of dates. And I'm going to put a, an underline underneath them. The underline is going to be here. And our uh, payments along the way, following this, it says they are 10-year, 10% bonds dated January 1, a face amount of $20 million, and the market yield is 14%, paid semi-annual. So our interest is using the, the party formula. The party formula is principal, 20 million, times the interest rate, which is 0 0.1, 0 or 0 0.1. And that's every 6 oh, uh, twelfth. So the interest rate is stated in terms of a year and 10%, um, but it's really only 5% for half a year. And that's going to get us the $1 million every six months that's going to be have, have to be paid. That's going to go out here. Every six months, we're going to have to pay $1 million. I'm going to format these as uh, numbers with com commas in them, like that. And in the end, we're also going to have to pay 20 million. And that is our stream of payments. It will not change. What does change is the value of those payments. And so what we're going to do is number one, calculate the present value of the principal component. That's the 20 million. And so we're going to take P sub one, where I, the interest rate, is equal to half of 14. The market yield is 14% for a year, but it's, since it's semi-annual, we're going to use 7. And we have N is equal to, it's 10 years, but there are semi-annual payments, so it's going to be 20 number of periods. And we look for that factor. Um, off this present value of a lump sum or piece of one table where I is 7 and we're going to go down here to 20 
i is 7, n is 20, and we put it in right there. We multiply that by that principal repayment that we're going to have to do at the end, 20 million, and times Yeah, something I screwed that up. Is equal to this number times that number, and that gets us. We're going to put these in this number format: five million one hundred and sixty-eight is the present value of the twenty million uh, for ten years, uh, and then. That's the, the first one here, the present value of the principal component, the 20 million. And then calculate the present value of the interest component. And that's going to be P sub A, I is equal to 7, same numbers, N is equal to 20. And now we're going to go to the P sub A table, present value of an annuity, I7, N20, and that's going to be this 10.59401, and we're going to multiply that by the month by the semi-annual payment of 21 million. And when we calculate that, the present value of the interest payments is 10.10594,000. And then the total issuance price, price at 14% to, to yield 14% compounded semi-annually. over 10 years is going to be equal to the total of the 5 million, the value of the principal, plus the, the present value of the interest payments, 15,762. And here we're going to put a top line there, and then we'll come and make a bottom line. And the bottom line is going to be double line just because it's the bottom and we want uh let's see if that works like that and there is my suggested solution to the quiz